Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Full disclosure, today's card is probably not going to be that clean or that simple. But what you're going to need if you want to do this is some kind of edging die. I've got this circle one and two card blanks because we're going to make a fun fold card. The first thing I want to do is die cut one of my card blanks to create a patterned edge. So take one of your card blanks, this is the front, this is the back, and lay your edging die along the, what's this, the right hand side so it cuts an edge. I'm going to hold that in place with a sticky note because it's such a thin piece of paper, it's not going to make an indentation in the front of the card when I run it through my die cutting machine. I'm going to run the card blank through open like this, because obviously if I close it, this will cut into that side. But before I do that, I want to protect this side and this side from the scratches in my cutting plate. So I'm actually going to run it through sandwiched between two bits of scrap paper. So here's the die cut card blank with its decorated edge and here's the second card blank and what's going to happen is I'm going to put this in here like this and stick that down so I'm going to have a card that opens one, two with a message in the middle. But before I stick that together I want to put some colour on this piece here. So this is the side of the card that I'm going to decorate. It doesn't actually matter if I get stuff on that, it's going to be on the back and any colour will add, I think, to the card. For my colour, I'm going to take broken china distress oxide, spritz it with some water to turn it into a paint, take my smusher, pick it up and smush on this side like that and as I say it doesn't actually matter if it goes onto the back in fact we can do it deliberately to add a little bit of something extra to the card and now I'm going to give that a good dry with my hair dryer and if you get some on the inside of your card don't worry just embrace it and add some more colour making sure that's dry because I don't want to get colour on this bit I'm going to pop that in there and see what it looks like. Yeah, quite like that. I think it might need another layer. And as I've got a bit of paint left on my glass mat here, I'm going to splatter on some colour as well with a paintbrush. And to add a little bit of variation to my card, I've got a variable size dotty stencil here and I'm using the same broken china to lightly stencil on some dots. And to bring in a little bit of shimmer and shine, I've got this very pale gold metallic paint from, I think it was from the Prima Metallic Accents Pastel Palette. And I'm gently gonna spatter that on and go all over. And once this side is dry, I will spatter on the inside as well, the other side of the card. The card has warped quite a bit from all the water and the heating that we've done, but you can leave it to flatten under a heavy book you could iron it if you wanted, just put a bit of paper over the top to protect your iron from all the bits in the paint. Or you can run it through your die cutting machine to flatten out a bit, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to protect it again using the bits of paper I used earlier. So that's less warped now. And now we can construct our card. I'm going to cover this with glue. You could use tape runner. I'll spread it out and push that up against the fold, fold that over, fold that in, fold that down. 
If things don't line up quite perfectly, don't worry, you can always trim. I'm going through several layers of card here, so I'm going to have to be quite aggressive with my trimmer. So everything's lined up nicely now. This opens like this, this opens like this, and we've got some pattern and shimmer and shine and colour here. Somewhere to write your sentiment, your message, and that's going to be covered up when the card is closed. And on the back, we've got even more pattern and shimmer and shine. For my sentiment for the front of the card, I'm going to use two of these label sentiments that I made in a recent video. They're heat embossed in gold embossing powder. I think Discover is an appropriate sentiment for a card like this. So I'm going to carefully stick that on there and make sure it's straight. And because you can see the back of it and it looks horrible and mucky, I'm going to put this other Discover here, which is where I've got two. And that should hide them both, hide the back of both, if you see what I mean. And it adds a little bit of rigidity to this area here. It gives the recipient sort of something to aim for when opening it, because some of these little circles are quite thin. I don't think that needs jazzing up any further. I'm tempted to find a die cut to stick on it somewhere, but I don't think it's necessary. But what I am going to do is take my skinny, thin gold thread and wrap it round the card to kind of hold it together. Until I've got a nice band there. And I'm going to go onto the back to tie the knot. You could use some ribbon for this in an appropriate colour. And I've just slid that band of gold thread up so it sits over the sentiment there, which I think works well. It's about two thirds of the way up, so it conforms to the rule of thirds. Instead of using a sentiment as I've done and sticking it onto your card, you could stamp your sentiment on a tag die cut and thread it onto the gold thread. I think that would look quite nice. I might do that on a future card actually. Maybe one of our not just Christmas in July cards. But that's it for today. This is our very not clean and simple trifold, I think, fun fold card. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of things you can do with items you already have in your stash. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.